To find out how Brock Lesnar stacks up against his latest opponent, we brought in the challenger himself, Kane Velasquez. This two-time NCAA All-American wrestler is undefeated in his MMA career, with seven of his eight wins coming by TKO. Rock hard shots. Lesnar has his own spectacular wrestling career, and in the octagon, he's won two fights by TKO and two fights by submission. But Lesnar's only gone the distance in one fight. First, we'll examine Kane's stamina. Looking strong. His heart rate maxes out at 167 beats per minute. Very low. Indicating that his stroke volume, the amount of blood his heart pumps with every beat, is extremely high. Our testing reveals that Kane's anaerobic threshold, the point at which he starts to develop lactic acid and fatigue, is on par with elite endurance athletes. Lesnar is an inch taller and could outweigh Velasquez by 20 pounds, suggesting that Lesnar has more built-in power. But Kane's fists shouldn't be ignored. Three, two, one. A wireless accelerometer inside this heavy bag registers Kane's punch at over 2,200 pounds of force. That's a harder punch than any boxer we've ever measured in the sports science lab. Finally, we'll measure Kane's takedown power. As you move, this will move and it'll give us all sorts of biomechanical data will tell exactly how much explosive power you have. As Kane drives off the ground, he generates almost 5,000 watts of power in his hips alone and 2,700 pounds of force. All told, this takedown is on par with a hit we measured by NFL All-Pro defensive end, Dwight Freeney. Kane's power, speed, and stamina should neutralize any advantage Lesnar brings with his size, which means this title fight will be an all-out war. For Sports Science on ESPN, I'm John Brinkus. Hey!